all right everyone here we are with ticker symbol nio neo inc and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors welcome to my channel invest for tomorrow to all my subscribers welcome back and for all of you guys watching this video it, whether it's your first time or you've seen my previous videos before or you're a subscriber please hit that like button that's one of the simplest ways to say thank you for the insight and to let me know that you like this video and that I'm actually producing information that's worthwhile. So if you guys are finding these informations and these videos worthwhile and valuable, hitting that like button is the simplest and best way to say thank you and to let me know in a positive feedback by click of a button, right? So I really appreciate that if you guys take the time to do that. And another thing too, I want to do a little side note because I really want you guys to go ahead and engage down below. In conversation with each other and I also want to see different investors point of view I know you guys want to jump in straight to the chart so I want to go ahead and apologize in advance that I'm taking a few seconds to say this but I want every investor and viewer to comment down below the ones that have been seeing my videos in the past till today that we have been analyzing the chart and how it's been reacting if you're starting to agree with me or if you agreed with me since you saw it or if any of the things I'm indicating you disagree with i mean we all have different perspectives and opinions and they all matter so as investors i want to see everybody's input or as many uh investors engaging down below whether it's in conversation with me or with each other or just putting your input in a comment down below on what you think about neo what's the future for it are you really bullish do you see this turning around anytime soon do you agree with what other analysts are saying? Because a lot of analysts are putting certain price targets. And if you guys know the exact price target and who is the one going ahead and analyzing that and want to put it down below, whether the link or just stating it, I would really appreciate that as well for other investors to know that information. And also what you guys think about NEO versus Tesla and the future of EV cars. I know there's a lot of EV sectors and EV types of cars i'm talking about cars and suvs and possibly even trucks for neo versus tesla what you guys think and what is going to happen in the future i would love to see your guys's input on that too and see what your guys's thoughts are because you guys just like i and just like everyone that's watching this chart are the investors making the decisions making this chart move i know there's big fish above us and we're all small fish compared to those big fish but we're all in this making a move and a play and making this move in the direction that it's going whether it's up or down on those specific dates or whether it's what's holding it up in this direction we are all playing a role in this chart so let's jump into this chart so i have stated in the past that since it was way down here at three dollars it had a slight run and then it leveled off and it ran up after it ran up it leveled off it ran up it leveled off it just recently ran up and it had a really short period of sideways movement like i always say all of this and the leveling off stage is volatility of the market it's normal there's uncertainty there's fear there's also the point of obviously slight profit taking depending on what investors are looking at as a good point of exiting or entering i mean it's normal and as we get closer this was the shortest period lived of sideways movement before it went up to a newer high and i had stated that either it would take around this time or this time of obviously time in days to a month and weeks of how long it would take for the next jump and another thing too this was looking healthy it was it was such a good distance um away from where it started and the only thing that had me a little bit like you know with my eyes a little bit opened up and said okay investors this is actually taking a different direction pay very close attention if it would continue in this direction or will it bounce back up and honestly it didn't even go much further that was the lowest point reached down here at 2547 and the reason why i was worried is because it broke through the lowest point in this bullish run which was up here at 2580 it was a little bit of a cent difference it wasn't a big difference and once it recovered 
it was looking like, okay, this is just the volatility and it could actually slightly drop and we'll see. So then I stated as it reacted yesterday and we see it here, let me actually take away this big one and we can just zoom in here. There was a quick drop here. It was kind of like a spike. And then we see it happen in every single other time, right? That it rose up. We saw it here and then it spiked right back up dropped spiked right back up and we saw it here after a little bit of time and I was like okay well this might be you know one of the reactions before it's going to come back up I mean there could be a point where it will go higher and so forth and when we look at the chart I had stated okay this could be on its way back up and it's going to hit newer highs and here we are seeing this take off again so now I'm back to the question and I'm back to the whole point of saying we need to pay close attention to this if it doesn't eat up these gains. Because if it eat up these gains pretty quickly, and we're talking about at least like 50% of it, or even like 40% of it, anywhere around these areas here that we see here, and this ends up somewhere around here, then this didn't jump up by much. It only jumped up by about $2. Right now, it jumped up by almost $5. So that's like the midway point if that kind of hits that again I'm not saying that it's gonna go all the way down here again but it wasn't as strong as a jump as we've seen in the past every time it goes up and it kind of holds up there and then it doesn't eat up 50% of it or more and if it does it quickly comes back up but again volatility of the market but very interesting to see that it actually rose up and we need to monitor this very closely and my only point of reference here is if this was a healthy run and we don't see it disappear quickly the volatility of the market is going to continue until the next jump so we're going to continue to see these sideways movements if this is a healthy run and all we're seeing it be is a healthy run so neo has potential neo is producing neo does have a product and it's giving reasons for investors and big hedge funds and corporations that are actually investing big bucks into neo do your research and anybody that wants to share that research of those different um, uh, individuals and companies that are actually investing companies putting money into neo check it out okay so let's jump into this chart and um, I, I believe that, like I said, the run is healthy. We need to pay close attention to it. So here we are with a new resistance level and a new total support level. So this is actually going to run up and we need to pay close attention to a few cues here. So the first thing is the resistance level here. And that resistance level needs to be broken through our support. Is way up here and it's hanging out kind of sideways right now it kind of hit it and now it's kind of leveling off slightly above it and it might hang out in this sideways direction as long as it doesn't go any lower and this was a healthy run so we'll see now if this was to break through the 50 day moving average go all the way back down and lose these gains the support is down here at 2794 I'd write that down super important number but right now we don't have to worry about that just yet. I don't think the volatility will be that drastic right away. So here we are with the 50 day moving average of 2873. Write that down so that you know on which side of the chart we're in and if it breaks through it, which side of the chart we will be in. So as long as we're above it, the bulls are in control. The moment we're below it, the bears are in control. So it's right now at 3131. For the bulls to continue this run and pull away from the 50 day moving average because it is catching up to the price fairly quickly, they need to break through resistance. This is the point that the bulls reached the highest point and there was a rejection there. That's 3221. They need to turn that into a support, pull away from it to hit newer highs and new resistance levels. On the other hand, we have what the bears want and the bears want to break through this support. That's 3065. If that gets broken through, I would pay very close attention to how quickly this is hitting newer lows, how quickly it's reacting, and also 
if the bulls are trying to reappear and bring this one back up because you have that window between the 50 day moving average and the support to pay close attention to the behavior of this stock and who is dominating the chart and even if the bears tear this slightly down the bulls still have a chance to bring this back up so pay close attention to those behaviors and you guys will be prepared for tomorrow's trading day with these cues i hope that this video was helpful and informative to you all pay close attention to the support because you're still in bullish territory but the bears are actually going to try their best to get closer to the 50 day moving average and the bulls need to break through this resistance of 32.21 turn it into a support to continue the momentum and pull away from the 50 day moving average in an upward direction and another thing we're going to have to see if that sideways movement was the next reaction because that will show us that this was a healthy run and that this is going to continue on its way up in that bullish trajectory so far no red flags if this eats up most of the profits here that was gain and it actually starts to fall because of profit taking and there's a red you know staircase on the way down getting closer to the 50 day moving average i wouldn't say it's a red flag that you know the bears have completely destroyed all these gains but that would show me that there's some uncertainty here for the next coming days and we'll have to see and this is me talking a little bit ahead of time if it was to fall uh theoretically speaking we'll have to see if the bulls load up on stocks and bring this back up and kind of level this off in a nice position where they can actually continue their run and stay up to newer highs so hope this video was helpful and informative please do so and subscribe if you feel encouraged or inclined to don't forget to hit that bell so that you can go ahead and have turned on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit that like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.